welcome you all to my youtube channel so let us discuss this question together so we have a semicircle and the information given to us is that the the arc ad is equal to arc cd so this arc arc ad is equal to this arc cb right so let us start to solve this puzzle so now if the arc ad is equal to arc cb it means that the cb length is the same as what a AD length. So when we draw a line here, a line segment here, AD is also what five, right? Now we can connect, we can draw a straight line from D to C, right? And now we can label AE to be X and also uh, DE to be Y. And we know that AD is equal to CB, so it's also what five, because the arcs are the same. We can label this side to be theta, and this side will also be what theta, because the, it is what alternate angles. And this side will always be what ninety degrees, because it faces what the diameter. This side can be beta, and this side to this angle too can be beta. So now using Pythagoras theory, we can say S square plus Y square is equal to five square. So from here, we can say that, uh, we can say that it's a three, four, five triangles, triangle. How do we prove that? So now we can say X is four, Y is also four, Y is also three. Do you agree with that? How do we know that X is four, Y is three? Is, is three. Let us prove it. So we can use what similar triangles. So using similar triangles, we are going to get six divided by what y and y is three, which is equal to what um, this side, which which is equal to the, this side. That is what six plus x, which is divided by what which is divided by what five. So six divided by three is equal to 10 divided by five. So we could see that using similar triangle, the answer of, of X and Y is correct. X is four, four and Y is three, right? Because they are what similar, this triangle, triangle D, E, C is similar to triangle A, C, B. So X is four. And that is the answer. I hope you got it correct. Thank you for watching. And always you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative videos.